In this video, we're gonna go over the Motion Manager. Once you've accessed Motion Study 1 from your assembly, you have a view of the Motion Manager. And inside here, there are four key areas that we need to focus on. The first of which is the top left-hand side, and this is the type of study. The first one is animation, and this is the one that's gonna be the focus in this video series. There's also basic motion and motion analysis. These are both a more realistic option to take a look at how forces interact and maybe even do some stress analysis on your parts at different points in the study. So again, we're gonna be focusing on the animation portion of this type of study. Below that, we have our feature tree. Now, the feature tree and anything that you change within your motion study is only being changed within the motion study. If you suppress or unsuppress different mates, if you change mate distances, if you move components, if you hide components, those changes are all taking place within the motion study or within the animation. So this feature tree, while it is very similar to the one within our model, it does have a slightly different purpose. In the top hand section, we have our toolbar. Now this is where you'll access things like the motion wizard, different ways to access key points, add motors, springs, forces, things of that nature. So this upper section is the toolbar area. And then the larger portion of this is actually the timeline. This is where we're gonna be directing the motion of our parts. We're gonna be creating key points, we're gonna be adding motion, whether we're manually dragging components or adding motors to rotate things and so on. So those are the different areas of the motion manager and what we need to access and create our animations.